Alrighty guys, this is the moment. This is the moment. I guess there's no turning back now. Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from some more Subnautica. Alright, I'm still battling a little bit of a cold, but I'm gonna try to press on and get these things done. So if I sound a little groggy, if I sound a little, uh, like a little tired, exhausted, flat tone, whatever you want to call it. Like, if I just don't sound like my normal chipper self, it's because of that. It's actually because of that. But I am kind of excited about this episode because today's the day, baby. Today is the day that we are going to go down the uh, down the cliff edge. Okay, we're, we're jumping off with this bad boy. And I think without any further ado, I'm going to get right to it. Let's get in this. All right, I got to get down, down low. Oh, yeah, I forgot this drops me right off a cliff. Oh, and I jumped out of it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I got my buttons all mixed up. Oh, this is going to be rough. Get in there. Got it. All right. Didn't mean to do that. I got my buttons all mixed up. I've been playing other games, you know, that happens. So, All right. So, one thing I want to do is I want to get down and see what's uh, on that in that drop-off, you know. Where's the tree? Tree. tree drop-off right there. That's where I want to go. Um, I want to I wanna get down there and see what's down there and then see if there's something I can do to maybe build a, another fob kind of thing. Because I'm thinking that'll come in handy. Can I just uh, can I can I Spider-Man onto this guy? I think I tried this before and it didn't work out so well. But yeah, uh. yeah, uh. sure can. There we go. All right, now this is the apparently the blue brine. Okay, a while back, comment section, people told me that I can swim in the blue brine. This apparently is what they're talking about. This stuff right here. So let me just uh, let me find a good place to jump in. Preferably one where, I, I, you know, if I die, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna trust the comment section. You're right. I can swim in the blue brine. Look at this. Nifty. What's this? Sandstone. Piece of gold. Sure, why not? I mean, I might, I might end up pitching that to make room in my inventory later. But look at this. You can swim down here. This is nice. This, is, ooh, what's? Oh, I thought there was a cave. Is there anything down here that I would need? Oh, what's this? Is this lithium? Nice. Good to know. All right, we have a lithium deposit in here. Oh, are those uh, are those those white mushrooms? I see those white mushrooms right here. What are they? Yep, the deep shrooms. Yeah, they sure are. Some gold down here. Is that just uh, a uranium uranium night crystal, urine stuff. I think I remember finding some of this somewhere else. I think, uh, kind of near the entrance to the Lost River. Okay, cool. So there's resources here. I'll have to keep this in mind in case I need to collect some more lithium, and uh, it looks like I saw some titanium on the way here too, as well. And gold, there's some gold. And they also have these uh, bladder fish down here too for water, which is kind of interesting, because I haven't seen them down here other than right here. Uh, all right, let's get back to Iron Bob, and we're going off the drop. We're going off the deep end here, because I gotta figure out what's in here. I'm actually gonna check that piece of gold just because uh, uh, I can always get more if I need it. All right, where's the where's the drop off? New place. That's not it. Drop off. That's what I want to get to. All right, so we're over here by the, the dead tree right now, and I believe the prawn suit is the only suit that I have, the only mechanical suit that I have, only oxygen providing suit that I have that can go to this depth. So, ooh, all righty, guys, this is the moment. This is the moment. I guess there's no turning back now. No, don't turn back. Alright, it all comes down to this. Let's go, Tally Ho! Alright, we're down here. That's something new. Oh, I kinda wanna scan it. I also don't know if it's dangerous or not. Lava larva. Interesting. All right, so things are gonna get a little warm down here. We're down past a kilometer down into the water right now. Oof. All right, I can only go so far down here though with this thing. I can go another, you know, 200 and some meters here. Okay, so there's some lava. Now, there is some kind of crystal. It starts with a K. We're gonna just call it Special K because I can't pronounce it. Those things are like glowing. Those things look different too. Are these just regular fish, or what are these? A mam mam magma ring? A magma ring. Here we go. Got it. Alright, there's also a red eye eye there, which is kind of nifty. 
There's warpers, which is less nifty. Alright, I'm going down here. I'm just doing it. Alright, so I do need to find this special case stuff. Whatever it's called. Krakenite? Kerakenite? Or something like that? Uh, it's to help me make a deeper uh, module so that I can go even farther down with this stuff. Copper is not what I need. Now, the comment section said that it's actually found in these uh, lava chambers. Is that it right there? No, that was just a bubble. It starts bubbling. Hmm. Pretty warm down here. Alright. Let's get across this thing. Let's keep exploring down this channel down here. Let's see if I can't find some of this stuff. I mean, this is a creepy place. Really far down. I do, ha I do have one beacon with me, so I can actually place a beacon to kind of let me know kind of what I find. But I only got another 100 meters down I can go before I hit my limit. So, I don't really want to... I don't really want to push that. Oh, I think the comment section did say that uh, this, uh, this special K rock that I'm looking for is found below 1200. So I'm actually in the right area now. This looks like a big punk brain rock. Can I drill this thing? No, nope, apparently I can't. Let's keep moving on down the line here. Seeing what else I can find. There's a lava fall. That's kind of cool. Hearing some creepy noises down here. Is that the lava grub making that noise? It's kind of freaking me out. I can't drill these things. The graphics on here are incredible, though, for like the lava and the and uh, how it's like you can actually see how it's like built up out of the rock as it's flowing out. The chirping is kind of getting me unnerved. Wait a second, hold on. Then. The chirping sound is getting me a little unnerved. I don't really know what that is. It's got to be the lava lava larva making that noise. Alright, if I don't find Special K on this trip, I'm going to be so mad. Because I kind of need it, I think, to get to the next part, so... I'm, uh, what's that? That looks like, it's like crystal. Or, uh, quartz. Who knows? I could be wrong. Diamond. That's really hot here, so I gotta go quick. Also a diamond. Hmm. Searching. Ooh, what's that? That's something new. Nope, not that. That's the wrong, wrong thing. Excuse me, sir. I need a lava lizard. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that thing looks like a predator. Probably not happy. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's an infected one. I was like, what's that green glowing thing? But that's an infected one of those things. I will drill you like crazy. First thing I do when I come to a new area is I kill one of the one of the inhabitants. But these things take some health. These things have some health. Did I kill? Where'd it go? It was up and disappeared. Okay, I guess we're good. I mean, there's another one. This place looks crazy, but I'm not finding the resource I'm looking for. Man, that screaming and screeching is freaking me out. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, this is something new. Is this special, okay? Yes, it is. All right. Let's mine this stuff up. Okay, it's, it's uh, kyanite. 
I mean, that kind of, I like Special K better. Am I not collecting any of this? Alright, I didn't collect any of that, which means I might have forgot to empty my inventory before we... Oh, I have a thing attached to the back side of this. Is that what the chirping's been this entire time? No, get get out of here. I got a, I got a leech. Get off. That's what the chirping's been this entire time, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, is that why I also wasn't picking up any of this stuff? I bet you that's it, too. Now, the question is, is where did it go? Did that thing eat it? Did I lose all of that stuff because that thing was chowing down on my back on the back side? I bet you I did. Dang it. I hear more chirping. So the next one I find, first I'm going to check to see if that thing is off my backside. And then I'll mine it up. There's some right there. Alright, so first things first. Let's hop out and grab the knife. Make sure nothing's attached to this, which it is. Look at these things. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. So these things I don't... I don't. I don't know what they do, what they do or why they are on here. Get out of here. Ooh, that's a warper. I'm just gonna go this way. So they they must eat this stuff that I was drilling up. Let's see if I can get some of this now. No. How am I supposed to collect this stuff? Yeah, it's not showing up in my inventory. What is, is this like a bug? Is this a glitch? Is this what's going on here? I'm doing this right, aren't I? Oh, let me let me let me uh let me restart or uh, reset the game here, and then uh, I reload it, and then I'll I'll see if that makes a difference. All right, according to what I found online while I was restarting this, this should actually be working. And the lava uh, the lava larvas that are attached to me, they attach to vehicles and slow it down. But it doesn't say anything about consuming the resources that mines up. So I'm not sure why this wasn't working. I'm going to give it another whirl here. Is it that you just don't get it every time? Hmm. Comment section. I need to know this. Why is this not working? There we go. Maybe you just don't get it every time. Maybe it's like a rare, rare thing. Yeah, I only got one. Welcome, Interesting. All right, I guess I'll, I guess it's just a rare drop from those crystals. Hmm, that sort of sucks. That sounded a little bit bigger than just a just a larva. Oh wait, those those are new kinds of rays. I want to scan you. Please stop moving. That crimson ray, nifty. Oh, that's a pretty one. There's something very large down here. Now, the the disease uh, the disease research facility did mention there being a sea dragon leviathan down here. I bet you that's it. Now I can't really go much farther down because I can only do 50 meters down. That looks more than 50 meters. So I think this is about the end of the line for me going this way until I make a better module. It looks like I might be able to go around here though. But I need to find more. Ooh, what's this stuff? That's a green rock. Oh, it's more of this uh, yellow stuff. All right, I'll keep uh, I'll keep looking around for more of those crystal formations and those special cave formations. I spy with my little eye. Big crystal formation. Some crazy monster nearby. All right, will I get at least one out of this? I got two that time. I think it sounds like it's right behind me. I got two that time, too. Maybe I was just really unlucky the first time I drilled one of these. Yeah, I think I was just really unlucky the first time I drilled one of these. Q. 
Yeah, I got a lot more that time. Oh, is that is there a pile of bones right over there? That looks like a Reaper Leviathan skeleton. Oh, okay. I might want to work on getting out of here because uh, uh, it's going to be quite a trip back. Yeah, it's a Leviathan skeleton. Re that's a Reaper Leviathan. Reaper Leviathan skeleton. Yep. All right. I got to work on getting out of here. I'm going to mark this place over here where the drop off was, though. Um, so I know where to go in the future. I think it was right over here. Yep. All right. Let's get over here. And let's deploy this thing. And then. Uh, we're gonna call it uh, super, oops, let's actually click on it. Super deep drop, bam, just like that. Now we have that marked. All right, you guys, let me start navigating my way back out of here so that I don't die. There's more of that stuff right up there, which I wouldn't mind getting maybe on the way back. Um, where am I going? Drop off, that's where I need to get to. All right, let me go mine this quick and then I'm heading to the drop off because my fluid intake is not looking great. So I really should have brought some before I came here. Kind of a mistake on my part, but uh, let me see if I can make it back alive. Oh my god, there it is. Alright, I've got to scan this thing. I absolutely have to scan this thing. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Can I just hit this thing? Oh man, I don't think I'm going to. Okay. I think, oh, something's attacking me. Yeah, my, my health is not looking good. Everything's looking bad. Let me just grab what I mind here. Oh, if, if I can. My inventory isn't full. I don't know why I wasn't picking that up. Let me let me take stuff out of here, maybe. All right, get in this. Can I pick up this stuff now? I gotta click on it. Pick up what I what I mind, and let's let's skedaddle. Don't get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. That thing's crazy. Oh, it's also shooting stuff. All right, I'm out of here. Adios. Adios. Oh, I think it sees me. Spider-Man. You didn't see nothing. I'm out of here. Oh, well, this thing's actually coming at me. This could be my chance. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh, there's a Reaper. Where's my Fron? I gotta get out of here. Excuse me. Yep, seek, seek fluid intake. That's what my top priority should be. Super deep drop is not where I want to go. Drop off is where I want to go. Oh my gosh. Please don't die. I don't want thing. If I'm about to die, I'm definitely uh, putting stuff in the prawn suit. Uh, because the stuff I'd mined up into the prawn suit, because if I die, I lose my inventory. I've only died once so far in this playthrough, and that's when I drowned in the beginning. But uh, I really should have prepped better for the uh, for the fluid thing. Yeah, that was kind of a big, big, big mistake. And the prawn suit doesn't go very fast. Eey, this is going to be close. If I start taking damage from, from dehydration, like I said, I'm hopping out, I'm sticking the special case stuff in the prawn suit, and then I'm going to have to swim down here to get this. Which could be dangerous. I mean, it definitely will be dangerous, but grab it. Let's go, go, go. Start the trek back. Excuse me, fish. I think if I eat fish, I'll also gain some hydration. Not much. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure how much hydration I'm going to get from any of these guys. Because these are all like lava, whatever's. That was crazy back there. I need to regain my thrusters here. Okay, I'm back over here at where the first drop off is. It's a miracle I've made it this far. Ooh, man, the hydration is getting low. Will I escape this mess, or will I die down here? Alright, now I just gotta get back to the fob. I do have the fruit there, remember, that I can eat and give me some hydration. I'm definitely gonna have to build, I'm thinking, like a fob down there. Oh, there I am, I'm taking damage. <laughs> Bladderfish. Come here. Can I just eat you? Hydration negative. Nope, I can't. Well, actually hurt me more than help me. It's gonna be a close one. He 
know what, as a precaution, I'm going to go ahead and drop the stuff in the inventory now, because I don't think I'm going to make it back. No, I'm not. In fact, let me just drop this stuff right here. And the bladder fish go free. Alright, there it is. I got my inventory cleared right before I died. Oh, man. That's only the second death I've had on here. And it was dehydration. What a humiliating way to go. I should have packed some water along the way. Am I back in the life pod? Oh, that's going to suck getting back there. All right, well, now it turned into a rescue mission. Because now I have to... Oh, I don't have another seat. This is going to be a long swim. Okay, well, I do know it's possible, though. I do know it's possible. This I could take Big Bob over there, too, to get a little bit farther down. But... Um, I don't have another vehicle to get back to my, my, uh, Lost River base, but I do know it's possible to swim from the surface above where the hole is to get to the Lost River to my base. But you only get about less than 30 seconds of oxygen left doing that, so it's a little bit of a risk. A risk, of course, I am definitely going to take. Hello, base. There's actually nothing really I need to get from here, but I could fill up on food while I'm here. Let's chow down on some of this stuff. Let me uh, grab some water, too, for the trip. I mean, good idea, you know? All right. So now become, uh, now comes the great journey to get there. Whew. All right. This uh, this thing has enough charging, right? 96. That should be plenty. Full up on water and food. Where's the hole? All right. Right there. Let me, uh, let me get over there, and then I'll start the dive down, and we'll try to recover our prawn with all of our gear and stuff in it. Hopefully, it's all there. All right, we're over here by the land mass, the, the the island where I got the fruit and stuff from. Why? Why? Because underneath here is where the hole is. All right, so this is where we're going to have to grab the sea glide. We got a full tank of oxygen and go. All right, so this is gonna be quite a trip. Got 216 oxygen left already, and I gotta try to get to the Lost River Fob. Can I make it? All right, we are entering the hole down towards where the Lost River is. There's that guy right there. We got to get to the Lost River entrance and avoid this thing. Oxygen is uh, already getting pretty low. All right, we are entering the Lost River now. All right, Lost River Fob is only a kilometer away, and we're down to about half of our oxygen. Let's try to avoid those things. We're in the main chamber of the Lost River now. All right, less than a quarter oxygen left to go. Almost, almost out of oxygen. With 12 oxygen remaining, we are here. See? I knew we could make it. <laughs> Alright, let's get out there and get Iron Bob now that we made it here, though. Ah, Iron Bob. Oh, there's all my stuff laying around. It looks like that worked. Throwing it out of my inventory. Let's grab this stuff. I don't really need deep shrooms anymore now that I've... Uh, what I, I needed those for something. I'm growing them, actually, up in my base. Did this stuff actually stay in here? Whoa, what was that? I freaked out for a second. Bug report, F8. Oh, yeah, it's still in here. All right, we're good. We're good. No penalty on death, except for humiliation. All right. Made it back. So I need to grab the special cave for sure. All the rest of the stuff I think I have back at the base... I'm going to grab a lot of this, just because I'll, I'll grab all of it, because I have no idea how much I'm going to need. Um, I don't remember what the recipe was. So, without any further ado, though, I think I'm going to get going right away. Uh, I'm just going to stash some of the extra stuff material that I have in here, and I have all the rest of the stuff, I believe, back at the base to make the upgrade for this guy right here, which will allow me to go into that deeper, deeper area. All right. So, let me grab the sea moth here, sea bob, or just, this is actually just regular bob. And let's go back to our home base. Well, safely, much safer now that I uh, have oxygen. And let's see if we can't make the depth module for the... Pro oh, break! Hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Hold on, I forgot something. I forgot something. I forgot. Make the depth module for the prawn suit. The thing I forgot is the depth module for the prawn suit. I kind of need that, don't I? Now, if I remove this while well, it's docked and it's this deep, is it going to just start taking damage? Let's get ready to put this thing back right away. Crushed up now 900 meters. Oh, okay. I'm not at 900 meters. Okay, I'm good. All right. Prawn suit death module mark one. That I needed that. All right. Let's go hop back into Bob here, and then we'll head back and upgrade this thing so he can so that this prawn suit can go even farther down. 
right, home sweet home. Let's get this uh, depth module built here. Welcome aboard, Captain. And see if we can get even farther into that lava zone. All right, fabricator. What? Uh, no, it's in it's in the modifier thing, modification table. Uh, speaking of which, oh yeah, Squidge has a has a hatch, so we got Squidge and Squidge in here now. Nifty. They look like they're getting along just fine. Nobody's killing each other. Looks like all the fish are here, including the one that looks already dead. Uh, just want to check on them real quick. All right, modification table. What do I need for this thing? All right, so I need five titanium and two lithium. I can definitely do that. Yeah, oh, go down, please. Oh, down. Thank you. Uh, lithium, I think, is right here. Two, two lithium and five titanium. I don't have a lot of t titanium in here. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. All right, let's go make this thing. Get this prawn suit upgraded, and then probably call it an episode after that. Bam. It's official. Got it. Now, is there any other upgrades that I can make with this stuff that I got? Right here, there's something right there. A depth module for the Cyclops. I don't really like the Cyclops. Ever since they made it so that it's easily destroyed, I don't like the Cyclops, actually. So I, that's why I haven't been playing around with it that much. I was really excited for it, and then when I got it going, I was like, man, this kind of sucks. I could actually make uh, these fins. I mean, I think I already have the Ultra Glide fins, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay. I don't, I don't really need the charging ones. And I could make a thermal blade. That would be kind of fun. But I think that it... Uh, I think it, I think that this thing loses durability, though, because of the power that it takes. But why don't I make it? I mean, I might as well. Let's grab a battery. I think I have one in here. Oh, yeah, I do. Let's go make the thermal blade, and then we'll head back. Here we are, however many episodes into this, finally making the thermal blade. Bam. I got a knife. Red hot. I like how it sizzles. Okay, it looks like it's in the water, but uh, I'm not. Uh, bug report F8. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do a quick self scan before we head back. Still really infected. Got it. All right. Let's get back to the lost. Actually, let's uh, let's get my food and health under under order first. All right. Got the upgraded depth module. Let's get back to the lost river fob. We are back at the fob now. Let's go ahead and park this bad boy up in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, Habitat. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade this bad boy and see what the current depth is I can reach then. 1,700 meters. Wow, okay, so that should get me down there. How was it? 1.4 uh, was, the, was the, the research facility I'm trying to reach that they said. Where is it? Uh, data bank. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Ah, here it is. All right, it's right here. A single specimen captured for study uh, at purpose-built containment facility constructed in volcanic region at depth 1.4 kilometers. That's what I'm trying to reach, okay? That's the reason why I was looking to get this thing upgraded. All right, so that's what that's why we need the, this depth module. So now we can actually go to that deeper part. Let's see, where is it? Drop off, and then I think it was like way over here. Yeah, super deep drop. Okay, so the beacon we placed in this episode, that's where we're going to be probably going in the next episode. Although I do want to get a fob built down there, something that I can actually, like, you know, like take shelter in. That sea dragon was nuts. All right, you guys, if you guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to smash that like button. Helps me out a lot, and I will see you guys. Oh, and thank you guys for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.